Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. Crema Media Senior Deputy Editor Keith Campbell joins me to discuss the financial state of national carrier South African Airways, which does not think that it will need any more state financial guarantees to ensure its liquidity. Hi, Keith. What was the underlying message of Nuku Bissaidenot's briefing? Well, but things are getting better, basically. Uh, the company is seeing a trend towards profitability in every line of its business. As you said, they don't expect that they will need any more state financial guarantees to support uh, liquidity. The question of whether they uh, will need state financial guarantees to support the solvency has not yet been resolved. He said the calculations were being done at the moment. They don't expect to achieve profitability soon. They hope to achieve pro profitability in EBITDA terms within four years. But that will take, he cautioned, uh, hard decisions on the support of the shareholder. The shareholder, of course, is the government through the National Treasury. Uh, in terms of achieving profitability on the bottom line, uh, there's no prediction about that. And he said that would take very hard decisions uh, because SAA has a dreadful interest burden from its debt. Uh, he said that the interest burden that uh, the company had is equivalent to 20% of the uh, revenues of uh, the private sector domestic and regional competitor SAA, the Comer Group. So it's a very heavy uh, interest uh, burden they have, uh, and that is something that's going to have to be addressed uh, before they can get to bottom line profitability. And beside note, also confirmed that the company would not be selling any shares going forward. Yes, the, there has been some speculation uh, periodically about a possible strategic equity partner. Uh, the Persian Gulf airline Emirates is sometimes mentioned. Uh, he stated that there were no negotiations with anyone uh, on the part of SAA for uh, any kind of sale of any amount of equity. And he also said they had no indication from the government that the government might be thinking of such a thing. He did say that they would develop uh, commercial partnerships with any and all airlines that would bring commercial benefit to South African Airways. These are things like code sharing agreements which allow a person to buy one ticket to travel uh, across more than one airline on a, on a single uh, void, so to speak, uh, divided into different stages on different aircraft from, from different airlines. Uh, that they, they have, they've long had a code sharing agreement with Emirates uh, they now have a co-chair agreement with Etihad from Abu Dhabi. They have co-chair agreements with other airlines. And another, uh, the, the Etihad agreement is quite recent. Uh, even more recently, they've uh, entered a co-chair agreement with a Ghanaian regional airline called Africa World Airways, uh, which will feed in uh, passengers from across Ghana and from Lagos, Nigeria, into SAA's new route to Washington DC via Accra, Ghana, and of course, on the other way, will distribute passengers from Accra uh, uh, to uh, other centers in Ghana and to Lagos, thereby in maximizing the potential passenger pickup uh, and landing uh, numbers for Accra. Uh, they'll be able to provide service to people who live outside Accra. So this kind of thing, yes, they, they will be uh, developing. And what did Besednots have to say about the headcount restructuring? Well, they are hoping, uh, SAA is overstaffed. Uh, it's not, I think it's fair to say it's not overstaffed in terms of pilots, cabin crews, mechanics, technicians. I don't think it's overstaffed in terms, if you want, of the frontline people who fly the planes and who make the planes fly. Uh, and there is a, a, a need to reduce 
uh, the number of personnel outside those categories. And then I hopeful they'll be able to achieve a cut uh, of between 8% and 10% by September, as you say, uh, without having to retrench anybody. They're hopeful that uh, natural attrition, you know, people resigning and retiring at uh, normal retirement age, plus early retirements, plus voluntary separation, uh, will all combine to achieve this target. So they are hopeful no one will be fired. And what are the union's um, views of the headcount restructuring? Bizarre did say they are in consultation with the unions. Uh, representing re representing the staff at SAA about this program. Thanks, Keith. That is the second tag show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.